Hello everybody, welcome to this session. The objective of this session is to see how to do goods issue against a cost center. All right, so the material what we are going to use is R-0101, the standard material what I have been using for all my videos. Okay, so I have created, uh, this is under my plan VTPL. Now let me see what is the stock right now for this. So you can see here that we have uh, under standard unrestricted usage 15,000 each is and this is a raw material. So usually uh, when you are doing the goods issue against a cost center, the main objective could be for consumption basis you can uh, do. So uh, what happens, we will be consuming this against a cost center and then there will be uh, some in-house production that will be happening around with this particular uh, raw material. Anyways, I mean, I'm not going to get into the intricacies right now of the business process uh, that you would be uh, if in case you would like to know, then you need to watch out uh, my other videos, which I'll be putting very soon. OK, so here uh, the objective what we are going to look at is the goods issue to the cost center. So here uh, what we are going to do is that out of 14,000, let's assume that we are going to issue 500 each. So my expectation is the moment when I do a goods issue to cost center, automatically here it should be 13,500 under the standard storage location, 0001. All right. So let's see. So I'm going into the transaction code MB1A. MB1A is for goods issue. Basically, it, it's a very generic one. Now here, one important thing that you have to understand is that in SAP, every transaction or every event, whatever it is that, it, it is basically identified on the basis of a moment type. Now, uh, the transaction, how do you know that this goods issue is for a cost center? Or how do you know that this goods issue for scrapping? So that is basically on the basis of the moment type, which is a very, very important part of the entire system uh, the way it is designed in SAP. Now here uh, the moment type what we would be using is 201. So let, let me show you here. Let me give you a little brief about the moment type. So here you can see that 201 this is basically the consumption for the cost center. Now there's one more which is 261 which is something like goods issue or the consumption against a order which is also very important. Now, basically, this is used for the in-house production of a of, uh, foot or maybe a uh, finished good. And at the point of time, if in case you're utilizing or consuming the raw material straight away against the order, then you can use 261 movement type. And if in case you are doing this goods issue against the scrapping, then in that case, you would be using the movement type 551. Uh, basically, say for example, if in case you feel that this particular batch of this particular material is no more used, or maybe this particular lot is damaged and you really do not, uh, you cannot use, then in that case you would be doing that. Uh, basically, this is not um, 551. We don't do it for non-valuated stocks. We only uh, will be doing it for valuated stocks which will be damaged or which is the batch expiry or the shelf life expiry. You know, again, I mean there are a lot many factors which will be involved. So it is not a small thing, but however, in my next media, next uh, video, you can see how to do goods issue for the uh, scrapping as well. All right. So here, uh, let's concentrate on goods issue against the call center. So the moment type is 201 and I'm picking up my plant as BDPL and then storage location is 001 and I'm pressing enter. All right. So here, the call center, I have uh, two call centers which is created one is BTP the second one is scrap. So right now I'm using going to use the cost center BG, uh, BTPL Okay, and Let me give the material and then the quantity as 500 each So we had 14,000 each is over there. So my expectation is that at the moment when I post this 500 each is It should be reducing from the total stock available 500 each and the left stock should be 13,500 each over there. All right, so let me press enter and then just save it. Okay, so it says document 3001 is posted. So let me see this document first stroke and and this is a three. Okay, so you can see here it says that. This particular raw material 500 each is, is subtracted. Here you can see minus sign. It's subtracted for 
ETS. All right. So this is the uh, GL account against which it has been updated anyways. And now let us go back to the MMBE. And let's see what is the stock status over there. So the expectation of the system is that now it should show me 13,500 inches for this particular material in 0001 storage location in plant BTPL. All right. So I'm going inside. Okay. You can see here now it says 13,500, right? So overall 13,500 um, from the 14,500 inches is subtracted. Now let me MB51 is one more place wherein you, if you want to find out about the movement of the materials, you can do that. This is basically complete material document listing, which is very very important. So I'm going to pick up for 201. If in case you want, you can actually execute it and you can see that. All right. But we already know the material document list, so we have already seen that. If in case you do not identify, you can come back to MB51 and you can check that. Anyways, um, I hope you are clear with the goods issue to the cost center. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please hit like and uh, do subscribe to my channel and share the videos. Thank you so much.